Hello, my name is Frederick Anefi, and you are welcome to your Excel lessons for today. Today, I have a challenge with me. A friend of my lady friend um, came to me and was asking that he has, she has been given an appointment by a doctor to visit the hospital every Tuesday of the month. That's the beginning month. So the first Tuesday of every month, she needs to really visit the hospital for a checkup. Now, he wants to know those dates on which particular date and day they will fall on and i designed something simple for her this is how it goes we use the date function the week day function to do this so to start with we select a cell select our cell equal to date the date will take three arguments so the first will be the year so the year we are talking about 2020 because she was referring to this year the month we will use the rule to select january to december We'll use the row function. So I'll select the row function here. So 1 colon to 12. So we are selecting the 12 months. Then the comma. We are interested in the seventh day. So we close it. When we enter this, we we'll get the day. So it give us 7th of January 2020. Now we are continuing. So we go into the formula bar. Minus. We are interested in the week day. So we select the week day and simply we repeat the same so let me just copy this copy the initial formula here Control c to copy and just paste Control v now we are interested in tuesday so we we'll select the month and now we will subtract since we're interested in tuesday we'll subtract two comma and we are interested in so we we'll use the date formula three that's choosing from numbers um, 0 being a Monday, 6 being a Sunday. So I'll just use the tab to select the 3 tab. Then we close our parenthesis. Then we, so since it's an array formula, we'll just use the Control shift enter So that gives us the date. But this is say it's in a short date. So we'll choose the long date formula and see how it looks like. So I select the long date. So it means it's Tuesday, 7 January. So if I want to do it for the following month since it's an area form like and just select the range i make sure that i've selected at least um 12 cells so for the first one is for january 2nd february so let, so simply let me just put a one in um excuse me let me just put one here one and just use a control to just um continue with it up to 12 okay so then i'll go back into my formula bar so now i need to select the range then i'll go into my formula bar then i'll use the shift control enter and voila, this is my answer. The other cells are not in the date format. So I'll just go and just choose my long date. And there you see. So you can see that for the first month in January, the first Tuesday is 7th January. In February, which means he needs to visit the hospital on the 4th of February, which means first Tuesday in March is 3rd March. The first Tuesday in April is 7th. So it goes on like that. And the first Tuesday in December is 1st December. So these are the dates he really needs to identify or ping on her calendar so that um, she will visit the hospital on this particular date. This is how simple and straight you can really use Excel functions to really solve some of our daily challenges or problems which we face daily. Thank you very much and continue to follow us on ET Consult. Bye-bye.